last few hundred years in European music, people moved very slowly but very surely towards uh, complexities and, and cleverness. And in the end, uh, my opinion was generally uh, creating music f like food for thought, for the brain. Then in the middle of the century, from completely opposite angles, from folk music or pop music, whatever you decide to call it, and on the other angle, serious music or classical music, um, decided both to shake off all that armor of the brain and, and, and start very simple, with minimal things. I'm honored to introduce to you Arvo Pert from Estonia, Mika Vaino from Finland, and then Alistair from Scotland will play glasses for you. <laughs> I think the thing about the instrument that fascinates me is the fact that the vibrations are set up directly by the player's touch. I, I can't think of any other instrument where that happens. You know, you either have to draw a bow across a string or use a, a mallet mm -hmm. or, or blow. But here, it's my finger actually vibrating on the glass. And if you look into the glass, you see the water going around there. You can actually see the vibrations. <laughs> and the faster, the harder I press, you see it change. And also, as far as I'm aware, it's the only instrument, the only non-mechanical instrument, where the sound will just go on indefinitely. Just keep going. And um, it certainly becomes quite hypnotic. How do you decide what, how much water is in each one? Well, the amount of liquid uh, affects the, the note. So I use my, my state-of-the-art digital tuner here. Okay, techno. You know, oh, well, I have to be, really, you know. <laughs> and uh, to get the level of the liquid correct, I use my um, chicken baster. Okay. Play us a bit of Mozart, then. Come on. Do you need a bit of Mozart? Wow, it's absolutely gorgeous. 